This is Oklahoma's own News 9. Well, millions of Americans have installed solar panels for a clean source of energy with a lower monthly electric bill. And now some people are turning to a new way to heat and cool their home. Astrid Martinez reports. The next step in eco-friendly energy could look like this. The long pipes being drilled into the ground will help heat and cool this home using geothermal energy. The process takes advantage of temperatures underground, which tend to stay around 55 degrees year-round. In the winter, fluid is sent through the warm ground, then enters a pump that heats it even more and distributes hot air into the house. The goal is to take advantage of the fact that the soil has a lot of heat capacity, a lot of availability of heat. In the summer, the system is reversed. Hot air is pulled out of the home and sent through the ground to cool. Residential geothermal makes up just 1% of the U.S. heating and cooling market. But now there are new incentives. There's an amazing policy landscape helping homeowners afford this technology. Kathy Hanoon is the co-founder of the company Geothermal Dandelion and says, like solar, the government is offering tax breaks. On the federal level, we have the investment tax credit where the federal government just pays for 30% of the system. That would mean a homeowner buying a $30,000 system would pay $21,000. And many states have their own tax credits, which can bring the price down even more. Nobody else, none of our neighbors or friends have done this. So they're all looking up to us to see how the performance is going to be. Homeowners using geothermal energy can save anywhere from 30 to 70 percent on heating and cooling costs depending on where they live. People in places with cold winters and hot summers see the largest benefit. Astrid Martinez, CBS News, New York.